this is Greg from SharePoint Maven and in this video I would like to explain to you the difference between SharePoint and Office 365. So let me start with SharePoint first and explain to you what SharePoint is all about and then I'll explain to you you know kind of a little bit of evolution of SharePoint as well as explain to you what Office 365 is all about. So SharePoint is essentially it's a Microsoft application uh, that existed for 18 years now, and historically it has been used by large organizations for collaboration. Um, SharePoint is not a publicly available, you know, website. It's not like you can Google it or, or you know and find it on the web, right? Once again, SharePoint is internal to an organization, and as I said, historically organizations have used primarily, you know, large organizations have used SharePoint to collaborate. Uh, on documents and other types of content, primarily on documents, but other types of content as well. So what you see on the screen right here is SharePoint. It's actually a, an internet built in SharePoint. And, you know, obviously, you know, SharePoint has evolved over the years and Microsoft is constantly making all sorts of changes and improvements um, in terms of functionality and look and feel. Um, this is how SharePoint looked for many, many years in the past. We, 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 at the moment, we call this a classic look and feel. Uh, this is not how we uh, design our you know, sites anymore. But just to give you a flavor uh, of how SharePoint looked like you know, just several years ago, this is, these are just a few examples of, of SharePoint sites, um, sites or departments or pro, department of project sites built in SharePoint. So here is an example of HR employee site. Um, you know, we, we can have... Uh, uh, maybe a, a, a site for IT, um, a, a site for different departments, different projects. And, you know, here's another example. Here's another example. Here's a project site built um, um, in, in SharePoint as well. And as you can see, it consisted, consists of different elements, um, document library, calendar, task list, contact list, etc., etc. Uh, once again, this is classic SharePoint. Um, we really do not you know, build SharePoint sites anymore using the classic look and feel. Um, Microsoft has modernized SharePoint uh, over the last couple of years. So now we have modern team sites, we have um, a modern look and feel, we have modern lists, modern libraries, we have Office 365 groups, communication sites. By the way, here's an example of a communication site. So long story short, this is you know, this is the new flavor, if you will, of SharePoint. And here is an example of a company internet built in sh um, built uh, using the, the modern kind of look and feel, modern functionality. All right, so this is the internet landing page and different sites, once again, um, for different departments, projects, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now, everything I've been showing you so far, I mean, this is all SharePoint. Essentially, once again, it's, it's, it's a collaboration platform. And primarily, of course, organizations uh, have been using it, are using it to collaborate on documents. But as you can see, SharePoint is more than just documents. You know, you can manage events, tasks, links, you know, news, and other types of content. All right. So once again, everything, all the sites that I have been showing you so far, this is all SharePoint, essentially a collaboration platform uh, uh, used. Uh, internally, uh, you know, by organizations to collaborate. And of course, you can share content externally as well, but primarily, primarily, uh, SharePoint has been used for, you know, internal collaboration. Now, what happened, you know, five or six years ago now, or actually, I think seven years ago almost, um, my, you know, Microsoft uh, said, you know, uh, said this, well, we have this, you know, great tools uh, like SharePoint, we have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, we have Outlook for email, uh, you know, we have Skype. Um, so we have all these great tools. Why don't we bundle all of these tools together and let's call this thing Office 365. All right. Not only that, but also let's take all these tools and make them available in the cloud. And what that means is that you see in the old days, just, you know, several years ago or, you know, right, seven, eight years ago, uh, if you, if you, if an organization wanted uh, to install, you know, to, to have SharePoint in place, 
uh, it was a pretty huge you know project a pretty you know big endeavor uh, and the reason is you know right you, you needed to purchase the company needed to purchase servers um, install SharePoint, you know, inst install the software, hire an, ar an army of IT people to support it. So it was a pretty, pretty big project. Um, now, all these tools are available in the cloud. And when we say it's in the cloud, it means that SharePoint and all the tools that are part of Office 365 um, pretty much are installed and run on Microsoft servers. All right, and the big idea here now is that you no longer, if you now need SharePoint, if you now need uh, to utilize, you know, email, um, if you want to, uh, SharePoint for collaboration, you no longer need to install anything on your servers. If an organization now needs, you know, all the tools, all they need to do is just go to, uh, to, to, to a Microsoft website and sign up for Office 365, and they have different plans available, and, you know, they pay, you know, obviously you would pay, an organization would pay a fee per user per month. And as part of the subscription, they would get all these tools. And once again, all these tools are available in the cloud. So what that means is that uh, you no longer, it's just like checking Gmail, right? When you check Gmail, essentially you, you, you check e your email uh, that is stored on Google servers. Well, in, in our case, when you you know, log into SharePoint when you upload a document to SharePoint uh, document library, or you 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 send an email through Outlook. Essentially, all of this information is stored on Microsoft servers. And what that means is that now you don't need to install anything, right? And also to to to, to you as an end user, it's very convenient. You no longer need to VPN in uh, and connect to you know uh, connect uh, through the firewall. Uh, and um, you know, if you want to access information, you can access it from in the office, in in a coffee shop, from your home, from your vacation house. You know, wherever you are, you just go. Everything is web based. You just literally go to a, a particular URL. You know, type in your credentials, and you're in. All right. So that's that's what the, this is what happened over the last several years. And once again, just to recap it, SharePoint is. It's still a collaboration platform. It's still a tool and a great application that is used by organizations to collaborate uh, internally and externally. Um, so, and, and, and Office 365 is now a suite of products, SharePoint included. All right. And once again, depending on what license your your organization has acquired, you know what kind of licenses um, you pay for. Right. Depends on how much money you pay per user per month. You get a different mix of of licenses, um, you know, I'm sorry, of different mix of tools available. Uh, but, you know, SharePoint and OneDrive and, you know, email, I mean, pretty much um, I included in most of the plans. Uh, and, and, and by the way, I did a video um, just several weeks ago explaining the difference between SharePoint and OneDrive. Um, so if, if you're cur curious about the difference between the two, um, definitely check it out, um, you know, check out that video on my YouTube channel. All right. So hopefully this uh, video was helpful uh, to you and you now understand the difference between SharePoint and Office 365. And I really appreciate your attention uh, and uh, thank you and hope to see you again on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day.